I wanted to dedicate this video to tracking and I always get a lot of messages, especially from young goalies, how I can improve my tracking, how can I make better saves. And so this video, I wanted to kind of give some of my tips and some of the products that I use that could help you in training tracking. And tracking essentially means that you're watching the puck all the way in when you're making saves and seeing where the puck goes so you're able to make saves. Funny enough, I was just coaching the other day and the station that I was assigned was tracking. And uh, the biggest thing I was telling the kids is your eyes work the best when they're in the middle of your head, right? So you're not watching the puck on the side of your head, twisting your eyes. They work the best when you follow the puck all the way in. And that's where this product from Swivel Vision comes in. They're like tracking goggles where the peripherals are blocked off. You really have to track the puck all the way in and that creates those good habits of following the puck with your head with your eyes i like to use this sometimes for some simple warm-up shots get my eyes going get my tracking going and the best part is it fits under your mask as well not only do they look cool they help with the tracking so i gotta follow all the way down i gotta turn my head more there we go i kind of lose it when it gets all the way to me Let's see how it is with some movement. It's hard. I don't know if like without the glasses, I would see it either. Oh. This like just amplifies it, I guess, but it's more like the habits of turning it. So up, over, track. Good balance. It's hard to get like peripheral cues where I'm at in the crease so I don't know if I'm like where my neck kind of is it disappears good pushes I gotta track all the way so find balance knees together track like I track here and then, I mean, this part happens so fast too, but yeah, I try to just track it all the way. There it is. This is probably familiar if you watch my videos, but the Visual Edge vision training program, you only need a computer or a tablet and, um, and these 3D glasses as well. But I've been doing this program for over three years now. I uh, definitely feel a big difference on working those eye muscles. You can work on convergence, divergence, so those muscles in your eyes that work on the depth and tracking those objects and seeing where things are. And uh, you can always bounce a tennis ball off the wall and stuff like that. But this really works on those deep eye muscles that are super important. And I'm 30, as I'm getting older, my vision is naturally gonna get worse. So this is something I wanna do to keep it where it's at and even make it better. But I do this like three, four times a week. There is the, like I said, the depth training. There's also tracking stuff. Um, so it also works kind of as a brain trainer that connects your vision and your, your reactions to it as well. They have a game day program, you can just you know, five minutes before games, practices, kind of get your eyes warmed up that way as well. And they actually have a super deal going on right now. So from the 20th of November to 27th, you can get 45% off. That's the best deal of the year. Even if you want to restart your program and get a new one, uh, this is the time to do it. This is super important for every athlete, you know, if you're a goalie or a player or a different sport, or even if you're uh, not an athlete, you want to work on your vision. So from here, I'll just come up, shoot. Then middle, then over. I'm just dropping. I gotta hold my feet better. Good shoulder. I 
I should be using the inside of the pocket, right? Thank you. Be loose. React. That's how you do it. Still alive. Really trying to bring my left knee in, get more speed and a stable slide. And then I get burnt. Same thing here my knees together get a little bit of extra push easier to react to pad stack so attack the middle adjust shot and grab a puck for a quick play need my line need my squareness little adjustments it's a righty shooting make sure I don't do, go too much and I adjust my squareness and react on my feet Probably the easiest one is the reaction ball from PTP Fit. This is in my bag, no matter where I go, uh, especially before hopping on the ice, just find a wall, throw the ball. It's not the predictable tennis ball bounce that you usually get. So this one kind of bounces everywhere. Uh, you're able to react. And the biggest tip that I have for tracking, other than keeping the eyes in the middle and following the puck with your forehead and your head tracking down, Tracking and making saves starts from your feet. And that's why this is good. You throw it off the wall, you're standing up and you try to get your whole body to move it. And same thing on the ice. First drill, I usually like to start by standing on my feet, making saves off my feet and not just dropping down. Cause I notice when I get my whole body into the safe selection motion. So I'm tracking and everything starts from, from my feet. Um, I'm able to, you know, move my hands as well. But if I start dropping on shots too early, everything's dropping and then I have to go up and then it's too late. So that's my pro tip of the day is just to start um, the first drill of the day, just kind of from your feet and trying to get your whole body into the save reaction and that way uh, get, your, get your whole body into the, the save motion as well. So three times five breakaways. You score four, you win or five? Four, we'll call it even. The GoPro's back, baby. I'm supposed to have my stick there. Oh, it's a new move. That's me too. Come on, stick. No five hole. I thought I had it. Right. Be patient and move. Not oh, bad for a 30 year old. <laughs> That's not how you goaltend. Get out of here.
Five holds getting old. Oh, I thought I had to cover it. All right, last one. If you score one, 10 push-ups. If you, if you don't score, you got 10. That's two. Get those arms ready. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. All right, last one. Yeah, baby! Give me 10! One, two, three, four, all the way down. Six. That was a happy ending. That's it. I don't want to keep you here for too long and uh, drop down in the comments some things that you do to work on your tracking or if there is another aspect of goaltending or training that you want me to go through and possibly make a video on, just let me know. Thanks for watching and subscribe.